everybody? Or should I say, Ribbit, Ribbit, I'm Alex and I'm not really a frog. I was just pretending to be one. You see, there are these really big puddles around my house and I just couldn't resist jumping in them like a frog. I mean, what are puddles for but jumping, right? I had the best time. The problem is those puddles were pretty muddy. Okay, they were really muddy and my shoes got super muddy too. Now I'm gonna have to clean them up myself and it's gonna be really, really hard. I'm not even sure I'll ever get all of this mud off. Oh, this will never work, it's just too hard. Doing things can be hard, especially when we're trying to do the right thing. Maybe our Bible story can help. <sighs> Whew, that's the last one. <laughs> Hola friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm working on a project and we need lots of bricks. Hmm, can you count them with me as I put them away? All right, here's one. <sighs> that was heavy. <laughs> Okay, uh, how many is that? Two, okay. All right, let's keep going. Wow, okay, <laughs> that was some hard work. <laughs> Oh, now, how many bricks did I put away? Seven? Wow, that doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but when you're picking them up one by one, it's really hard. You know, that reminds me of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready, uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Naaman. Naaman was a very important guy. He was in charge of a big army. He was used to doing things his own way. One day, Naaman got sick. He had lots of spots on his skin and it hurt really bad. There was no medicine that could make the spots go away. Now Naaman heard about a friend of God's who might be able to help him. So Naaman took his horse and chariot and went to find God's friend, Elisha. When Naaman got to Elisha's house, a messenger came out and told Naaman that if he wanted to get better, he needed to go wash himself seven times in the river. Seven times? <laughs> well, that sounded very hard. This made Naaman very angry. Naaman was angry because he thought Elisha was going to make him better right away. Seven baths sounded too hard. You know what? Sometimes following God's way is hard, but we have to remember, God's way is perfect. Naaman, you just have to jump, jump, and go God's way. Finally, Naaman went God's way and washed seven times in the river. Can you guys count Naaman's baths for him? Ready? Go, Naaman! One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. And look, his spots are gone. <laughs> Ooh, yep, I do a happy dance too. <laughs> way to jump, jump, and go God's way, Naaman. <laughs> it was hard, but you did it. And now you're all better. See, God's way is perfect. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, 
Whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! Wow! Naaman had to do something really hard, but when he followed God's way, God made him all better. Did you guys get the story? If you did, let me see you have a big thumbs up! Awesome! You know, this is probably going to be really hard. I wonder if I'll have to scrub my shoes seven times just to get them clean. Well, I guess since I'm the one who made the mess, I'm the one who's going to need to clean it up. See you guys next time!